Coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Gilbert Dorino Burns. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He's able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live! from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns. And now with introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Leon Rocky Edwards! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. I mean, he's cutting him down the 
size. The oh! Beautiful leg kick. What a fantastic strike. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Boom. Big jab. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Edwards gets caught with that punch. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he continues to oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice right hand. Just over three minutes to go. What a beautiful hey, Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Nice kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Straight punch lands. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got a double. Do it to take out. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, stack guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is just straight leg. He's got to kick and push because how is the opponent going to stop him from just elevating him? He's a big grown man. You let him get both feet on your hip. You push away, you kick. Jiu-Jitsu stand up. You know what that is, Jake. I do. You understand that. You know, you went to your jiu-jitsu class. <laughs> Post the hand, switch the hips, get back to your feet, get back to fight. 34 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Under a minute now to go in this one. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Unable to land with that part. Tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also 
Most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.